Hello, hello, hello! <laughs> it's me again. This is Real Talk with the Mirror. One more time. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. I always hope everyone's doing well. Hope everybody's trying to do something different. Change, be better, be stronger. Be more confident in yourself, not in others, in yourself. It's all about you. It really is all about you. Today is April the 26th, 2022. It's 10.30. It's a little late, y'all. Almost 10.30, 10.28. Trying to work my schedule out. I did make myself a schedule haven't committed to that yet but I, once I commit to it I'm gonna do it I did make myself a schedule since I'm doing you know more than one thing I need to make a schedule so I don't have to think about it I can just do it and that might not be so inspirational but I don't know uh, I did make a schedule I hope everyone's doing well I hope everyone is starting to just think about your life think about what you want to do for you if you have children you know what do you want to do for your children what type of legacy do you want to leave for your children what type of life do you want them to have you know i've been thinking I, well actually I, i've been seeing a lot of things go on and for me i don't understand how does your child go out and do some of this craziness? And some stuff I can understand, but some other things, I'm like, where are their parents at? Do you talk to your children? Do you say, hey, it's not okay to go out here and shoot people because you have a disagreement with them? With uh, girls and boys, women and men. If you have a disagreement with somebody, you need to talk about it. Or not talk about it. Just leave the situation. <laughs> you don't have to go out and shoot nobody or kill nobody. But like I said, a lot of things go through my mind. But <laughs> I hope everyone's doing well. And today's topic. Let me see what I put exactly. The exact wording. Fake gurus. <laughs> and it's a lot of fake gurus out there. Fake gurus, fake um, black conscious gurus. That's my main concern again, because like I always say, I'm a black woman, I'm not white. I don't know what white folks, all the stuff that they do, but fake gurus. That's my topic. Black conscious gurus. Um, just a couple of the people that I've seen lately, the last few months, the last year or so. One of them is um, Umar Johnson. And I actually used to follow him a little bit. I actually went to one of his... Um, events here in Kansas City and he's been starting a school I believe since 2013 and I do not think it should take you to start a school for that many years it should not one of the other people I've been checking out or seeing on my timeline a uh, young pharaoh he was another uh, black conscious guru that people were following and initially they get a lot of support because some of what they're speaking is the truth or you know that lure they're luring you in to that storyline like a bad relationship 
fake relationships, fake friendships. People lure you in. Hey, yeah, I, love, I like what you're doing. I like your style. I like how you look. Yeah, we could really work. We could, we could do something. <laughs> fake lies. And then at some point, oh, they're cheating. They're lying. They're stealing. Supporting um, a guru or, you know, these people that we, we support online, it's a relationship. It is a relationship. And then we just, just like a relationship, we don't want to believe this person is doing you wrong. <laughs> we don't believe he's cheating on you with 12 other women. We don't want to believe they cheating on you with men and women and they bisexual and they ain't told you nothing these people that we support it's a relationship you have a relationship with them whether they know you or not personally you have a relationship Um, Jay Morrison uh, Anton Daniels you know and, and these people I really don't know all these people but some people are saying that they are fake gurus. Disclaimer, you know, I have no idea. Some of these people I know, they're fake. <laughs> but there is a lot going on. The I've also seen, what is it, the cult leader? What is his name? Nature Boy? Hold up, let me look it up because do not know his name completely. Yeah, I don't know his name. Nature Boy. That's what I remember him as. And I've seen a couple of videos of his a long time ago. And I never got into being a follower. But I watched it because, oh, he out in the jungle. He, he trying to get back to nature. And that's... I think when people see that, they they don't do that. So it's appealing to them that someone wants to get back to nature. Someone wants to get back to spirit and, you know, really understand who they are and how they're connected to spirit. But you got to look a little further when you see these people. But it's just like being tricked in a relationship. And I do believe a lot of people, well, for this person, what is his name? Eligio Lee Bishop? It, if, let's break it down to basics. <laughs> if someone is slapping you or having someone else slap you or beat you, have, making you go sleep with a woman and a man and this person and that person, that is not a good person and i don't know what it would take for someone not to see that but yeah we we got to be more real with ourselves we have to be more honest with ourselves because a lot of this shit is it shouldn't even take place and this person had multiple people in his cult and his following and sleeping with men and women and slapping people and harming and abusing people and then all of these people don't forget let's not forget you know we want to say he's all bad but there are people supporting him all of those people in the comments and one up in and this and that y'all are just as bad as him let me tell you just as bad you know because we we think because we're not doing something but we're in the comments oh yeah woo, 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 ha, yeah uh, you're just as bad if i i just seen this stuff like the last week or so where he's telling a, another woman to slap somebody because she didn't do it she didn't do what he needed her to or wanted her to do y'all i I don't take kindly to violence at all and i have not had to experience a lot of that because 
it probably would have turned out all far left, but fake gurus. I did pull up a couple of um, a couple of items. <laughs> this is from Maverick blog, The Rise of Fake Gurus. It is usually some person with a whiteboard telling you how they will transform your life through their secret business opportunity or 10-step mastermind course. The worst ones feature a rented sports car, yep, rented sports car or Airbnb, with the presenter claiming it is their own. But there is far more pervasive type of guru, the business growth guru. Um, I get a lot of those in my uh, DM, but they flash the cash. They made loads of money, but want to give back. They don't exist. Language and emotion. Manipulation. So what can you learn from fake gurus? They are excellent marketers. And they will use all of the latest technology to get people into their sales process, into their sales funnel, despite the millions they have in the bank. <laughs> They will produce videos and marketing to get you to download their ebook for free and then upsell you to their course or programs. These rich gurus, fake gurus, are so rich they for some reason need your cash. Mm -mm, uh oh. Look. <laughs> red flags, red flags. Next one. What is a fake guru? Fake guru is someone usually in the online space who promises a certain outcome based on the prerequisites of completing a paid course, coaching service, book purchase, etc. And some of the the, the black conscious gurus. They're not necessarily at first selling you something tangible, a course. They're selling you connection. Oh, we can connect you to knowledge. We can connect you to spirit. We can connect you to a better way of life. We can connect you to, you don't have to deal with certain things anymore. They're not connecting you with a product you can sell. They're connecting you at first with something that's intangible, not tangible. It's essentially, I will show you how to achieve this desired result. But first, you have to do this. First, you have to get in my tribe. First, you have to come to my cult. First, you need to come to my city. You need to come live with me. You need to forget your whole life and come live on this compound where I can beat the shit out of you and you can sleep with everybody and jump from this person to that person. And, and some of the other ones, um, cash at me, send me money. I'm going to um, Dr. Umar. Send me money. I'm going to we trying to start this school. I've been trying to start this school for the last three years. I spent 400000 to acquire this school. And all I have on is lights in this school. And it's an abandoned building, abandoned school. And that doesn't make sense. You know, a lot of us, we, we want... We want something so much that we go blind to what's really going on. But as far as Dr. Umar, with $400,000, you could have bought a small um, two or three story building, a few offices on every level. If you wanted to just have a building, less than 400000 at that time before all this um, real estate boom went on. You could have bought a small office building, paid cash for it, had a, 
a classroom or offices in every room, something you can manage. Schools are very, very, very expensive. And I don't think people understand that. Schools are very expensive to run. Transportation, teachers' salaries, building maintenance, food service, taxes. I don't, I don't know how the taxes work. Let I me mean, not say that, but... I think I once seen uh, one of my daughters, well, my daughters, they went to the same school, of course, but I seen their bus, I happened to see their bus transportation uh, budget for the school. It was over a million dollars every year. This was a small school, a charter school, a small, small school, but their bus transportation uh, budget was over a million dollars. I used to uh, I had one point in time thought about starting a charter school and I'm like, a million dollars? You know, how do you do that? You can't do that by yourself. That has to be you know, a concerted effort of many people with the same goal. But Ms. Dr. Umar, mm, he has no clue and if people want to continue to support that, you're wasting your money. And I waste money sometimes too. <laughs> There's no way that unless he gets, unless he changes, you're, you're not, you're not progressing. You're doing the same thing. Hey, and it's okay to say, you know what, y'all, mm, I made a mistake. This, this isn't what I thought I could do. I made a mistake getting into, into that crazy relationship. I made a mistake. It's okay. I'm, but I don't want to do that anymore. I want to do something different. But there's no way that he can start a school doing what he's been doing. Who else? Uh, yeah, the Nature Boy thing. That's just... I watched some of those videos and... No. I mean... Again, th this is something else that I have often um, said to myself that... If you need someone else to, and I'm not going to say it like that, I, I'm going to say it like, you don't need someone else to connect you to God. You don't need someone else to, you know, and, and of course somebody can kind of give you some point and hint or, you know, some hints, but just like God talks to this person, he can talk to you. If God made everyone, he can talk to everyone. <laughs> Sit down, get still, get quiet, get committed. You don't need someone else to connect you with God. And definitely, that, that, that stuff is just so crazy. I don't, I don't even get it, but no. No. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. That's not the way. And I'm sure he's not the only one. I, I've looked at other cults and if, if things don't make sense, we gotta run, run. Just cause somebody is sweet to your ears doesn't mean they're telling you the truth. Um, young Pharaoh. I actually watched him a little bit some years ago. I, I really don't remember what he was talking about then because it was so long ago. But and, and that's one of the things a lot of these gurus, part of what they are telling you is true. And you hear that, but you don't listen to the rest of it. So yeah, I used to listen to him some and some of what he was telling you, of course, is, is true. But then when you start coming out the box with all other kind of stuff you start promoting violence you start promoting abuse it, that that you're you're out you're no longer in a good path you're in a bad path uh brother polite that's another one you know and like i said before all of these polygamous polygamy polyamorous ooh 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 relationships will smith jada 
uh, a lot of these polyamorous polygamous relationships are failing so all I would say is take another look and that is something I would never want to be in I would not want to see the man that I love sleeping with another woman and right in front of my eyes oh go to her bedroom or get in the bed with a no absolutely not that's not my style but we're seeing a lot of these polyamorous polygamous relationships burning to the ground so uh, and I'm actually glad because I don't I don't like that but anyway <laughs> Jay Morrison um, and, and then like I said a lot of these people just like in relationships they bring all of these lies up front and you believe them as the truth disclaimer you know and I've seen someone uh, talk about him he hasn't really even done any real estate deals or sold any real estate property maybe one but you're sitting up talking spewing all of this so-called knowledge that somebody else has given to you and you're you're taking it as your own and that's not the truth it's not the truth <laughs> a lot of liars it's a lot of liars out here y'all in everything so please be careful it's a lot a lot of liars in relationships a lot of liars at your job just everywhere but fake gurus definitely heard some other people you know you buy a book they never send it i actually bought a book from uh dr umar a long time ago didn't get it had to email him uh excuse me. i didn't say excuse me where's your book i was very nice and polite but I don't remember what was said, but I didn't get it. And I ended up going to an event and just buying another one. But, yeah, it's, it's a lot of craziness out here. But fake gurus, fake relationships, fake, just fake people, fake friends. You just have to be honest with yourself. No, if he slaps another woman in front of me telling her what she should do, um nope that is not where i need to be if someone is supporting violence and i'm going to go shoot up houses young pharaoh and disclaimer and all mm -mm. nope <laughs> if someone says i ordered something and i didn't get it no that's a fake guru fake guru and there are black fake gurus and white ones as well. And today I'm talking about a little bit about the black ones. But um, no. There's so much going on these days. I don't. People getting arrested though. I'm glad. I'm glad people getting arrested. For lying and defrauding people. And then there's some other ones. You collected some million dollars for a museum. And there is no museum mm, okay i forget his name at this point but this was just been a little quick talk about fake gurus i did set myself up a schedule i'm probably gonna start it next week i gotta make sure i'm ready and committed to do it <laughs> but whew. We have to be more smarter, you guys. We gotta about everything about our lives, our friends, our family, the the boyfriends and men that we bring into our lives. Because I'm a woman, you know. I see a lot of stories where people bring these men into their lives and they hurt their families. They hurt. They hurt their children. And if you would just leave that alone, maybe we just need to leave relationships alone until our kids are 18 and grown. Then there's nobody in the home they can hurt. There's nobody in the home they can kill but us. <laughs> At least our children are safe. 
but it's a lot going on. Okay, I think I'm done. But um, fake gurus, stop giving your money to these uh, gurus. Stop giving your energy by watching and listening to them and learn about them. Learn about what they're doing, the complaints that they have. Is that basically a, a BBB, a Better Business Bureau? Hey, if they have this many complaints, don't just ignore that shit. There's something going on. Literally, there's something going on. Believe it. <laughs> but anywho, this has been Real Talk with Amira. Again, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's doing okay. I have been kind of busy. But like I said, I did make myself a schedule. And I just need to pick the date that I'm going to start it. <laughs> that I can do my podcast. That I can do a video. I am trying to do my t-shirts. Still working on that. All that stuff takes a lot of time. You have to try to find designs. You got to make sure you have the right equipment. <laughs> You got to practice, you got to train, you got to go skill up, teach yourself some stuff, buy a course. It's a lot of stuff to do, but I'm working on it. And then just think for those people who are trying to do things and they have a relationship too. Mm, a lot. <laughs> but, um... I think that was it but just be careful of fake gurus they're out there they're black they're white Chinese Japanese Indian all colors and creeds be careful pay attention listen to your gut if you see something wrong it's probably wrong and that's not a guru you want to follow so this has been (laughs) Real Talk with Amira Everyone, have a great night. Peace.